Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different workout. It's going to utilize weights throughout. So um, I'm actually going to start with a little bit of cardio to warm up and then I'm going to do jumping rope or high knees in between each weighted exercise. So I have my watch ready. I'm going to do 30 seconds of jump roping. So breathe and keep moving. So I have my room set up as a little bit of a home gym, a little bit more, um, I guess, traditional style of a workout than you're probably used to from me. And that was 33 seconds, so I did a little extra. Exercise number one, I'm doing a dumbbell press. So um, this chest that I'm going to use is a little bit wider than a weight bench. So my range of motion is going to be a little bit more limited than I'd like, but I'm going to make do with what I have. Um, lift up your weights one at a time. You want to make sure both feet are firmly planted on the ground. Then you're going to lay down on your bench. You can have a slight arch in your back. Again, make sure both feet are firmly planted. Weights should be facing each other but slightly angled. And if you didn't, if you have a narrower bench, your arms can actually go down so that your hands are next to your body. Um, my, like I said, my range of motion is limited a little bit with my setup. Here we go though. So press straight up into the air. Keep that slight angle so your chest is really working and it's a little easier on your rotator cuff. And then bring it down, that's one. Choose a weight that is right for you um and build up smartly four that's six and again you don't want any compensatory movements so focus on really using proper form i think that's nine <laughs> ten 11, 12, 13, two more, 14, last one, 15, and slowly bring it down. Um, another thing to remember, anytime you're using weights, the downward movement is just as important as the upward movement. So. Don't slowly go up and then drop it down. You want to slowly control the movement both directions. Next we have uh, flies. Okay, so I'm actually going to switch down to a lighter weight for this one. You got your cardio in between. Oh. <laughs> Jesse was signaling me by dancing in place that I had no clue what he meant. So I'm going to... Start my cardio, round two. So again, just 30 seconds to get your heart rate up. I'm gonna try and move pretty quickly in between exercises. I'm talking a lot, whoops. Mm -hmm. You knew I couldn't go through a whole workout without stepping on my jump rope. I don't know if it's possible for me. Keep breathing. Okay, so that was a little over 30 seconds again. So next exercise. We are doing dumbbell flies. Yep. Dumbbell butterflies. And these ones are a little harder for me, so I went down a little bit in weight because form is number one. So again, um, same form with your hands, slight angle, but overall your weights are facing each other. Back can have a slight arch in it, but you're not going to um, thrust your chest or anything. The movement comes from your arms, your chest, and your shoulder. So bring it out wide and up and together. Wide. 
That's two. Three. Core stays tight to support your back. Four. During any exercise, you actually want to keep your core engaged. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Whoops, I forgot I was stopping at fifteen, so I'll just go to twenty. Eighteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Twenty. That was probably a sign that I could have stuck with those twenty pound weights after also. Good to know. Good to know for next time. <laughs> okay, we're back to cardio. Again, keep breathing. Whoops, but try and get your heart rate up. Okay, that was another 30 seconds of cardio. Next exercise. We're going to work those lats with some pull-ups. Okay, so my pull-up bar is upstairs, and I want to give you guys this video in real time, so I'm going to improvise. I have my dip station. Um, so if you have a pull-up bar, you can do pull-ups. You can do flexed arm hangs. Um, if you're building your way up to a pull-up or an assisted pull-up where you use a chair to support yourself, uh, just remember you want to keep your palms facing away from your body for a pull-up. If your palms are facing you, it's a chin-up, and you're working your body a little bit differently than what we're targeting for this. So, um, I'm going to turn at an angle a little bit and do basically a reverse push-up. So, my body makes a nice straight line, and I pull all the way up, bringing my shoulder blades together each time. Good job, buddy. What? That's 12. 13, I'm not getting all the way up. I'm gonna uh, modify by bending my legs a little bit. 14. There you go, get the 15. Keep that concentration on those shoulder blades. 15. All right. Okay, that was tough. <laughs> Next Just exercise. A little bit of cardio. Okay. Then we're doing some dumbbell rows. Okay, so dumbbell rows, back to our weights, always use good form to pick up your weight by the way. Um, for this exercise you can have one foot planted on the ground, one knee bent and up on your bench, other hand plants, you want to kind of get to the edge so you can have a full range of motion. Switch those legs. There you are. <laughs> My balance would have been... <laughs> that would, that would have been a challenge. Ovulated. Okay, so go <laughs> to the edge so you can get that full range of motion. Back stays nice and straight. Core is supported. And you're going to pull it all the way up, bringing the weight next to your chest and the elbow toward the ceiling. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, same thing on the other side. So I'm going to switch legs, come to the other edge of my bench. Back is straight, core is pulled in tight, and lift that elbow to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, next exercise is another cardio burst. <laughs> Here we go. That was 10 seconds. Whoops. Every time. <laughs> 20 seconds. Exercise. Next, we're going to work those thighs. We're going to do that weighted chair pose. Okay, so for this one, it's a little bit different. We're going to time it and do some pulses, but um, we're going into chair pose. If you choose not to use a weight, feet pressed together, knees pressed together, butt reaches backwards, arms can reach up. If you're using a weight, you're going to hold it in between both hands at your chest. So here we go, like this. Here we go. So come all the way down like you're sitting in a chair, and then you could do really small pulses. Squeezing up and through that pulse. So this one is also timed? Yes. Okay. Oh my. Keep breathing, keep pulsing. If the pulse gets too much, just hold it. Good job. Okay, so next we're going back to the jump roping or high knees. You can run in place. Here we go. <clears throat> Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. I didn't jump on the roof. <laughs> Next exercise. Now we're going to work the backs of those legs with leg curls or ball, ex ball pulls. Okay, I'm going to show you the ball pull first. So we have a couple options here. Um, for this one, you can use a stability ball, lay on the floor. Arms could be next to your body or send it outward. And then you're going to pull the ball toward your butt with your heels. Okay, so core stays tight, butt and thighs, hamstrings are engaged the whole time. Your other option is to grab your weight. You're going to actually lay on your stomach. <clears throat> Hopefully I have enough room here. You're going to hold the weight securely between both feet. I'm going to have to lay on my belly and then get it there. <laughs> okay, so... Choose a weight that you can hold on to. Keep those feet and thighs pressing together. It's a good incentive to get a little extra thigh squeeze in here. You're going to bring it down. And then all the way up and in. That's one. 
And again, control the movement up and down. Two. Three. Keep squeezing that weight. Don't let it fall on you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway done. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. <laughs> 18, he's going to jump on my back in a minute. 19, <laughs> or just snip me. 20. Okay, clearly Gambit wants me to take a second for him to say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so back to jump roping. Buddy, you got to move just a little. Okay, I'll jump at an angle. He has no fear. Apparently there's nothing scary about me. <laughs> Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. Next, since we worked those legs, we're going to go back to the arms. We're going to do dumbbell presses. Okay, Gambit was trying to get up into my lap again. I really don't want to drop any weights on my cat. So, um, seated dumbbell presses. So, you're going to sit in your chair or on your bench, but you have to keep your back really straight. I'm actually having a little trouble leaning back, so I'm going to just sit up really straight in my chair. And you're going to bring your elbows up and lift up over your head a little bit in front of your body and keeping that same position where the weights are facing each other at a slight angle. So bring those elbows into your sides. Core stays tight the whole time. And press it up, that's one. Two. Try not to let the weights fall behind you. Three. Four. Five. Good job keeping those elbows next to you. Six. Next to your midline. Thank you. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm going to slow it down on the downward part because I was rushing. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, next exercise. A little bit of cardio. Keep moving. That's twenty seconds. Okay. Next exercise. We're doing lateral raises. Okay, so for this one, this is a hard one for me. You're targeting your shoulders. Arms extend down to your sides. This is a really big one for not using any compensatory movements. So what I mean by that is, 
when you bring your arms up, you're going to bring them up using your shoulders. Okay, so we don't want any of this where you throw your body or toss your arms up like this. Okay, it comes from your shoulders. Body stays as still as you can, okay? Slightly in front of you. So here we go. One. Two. Three. So no jerking motions, smooth motions. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. It's really hard not to use those compensatory movements. Last one. Twelve. Good stopping point. <laughs> okay, cardio. And after cardio, we're going to do some shrugs. Okay. So again, the point is to move through this all as quickly as possible. I'm talking a lot, so I'm going a little bit more slowly um, than I would otherwise. But just keep the rest to a minimum. Keep your body moving and working the whole time. That's 20 seconds. shrugs. Um, I'm going to actually use the heavier weights for this, even though it's not going to be fun. Okay, again, no compensatory movements. Hands start at your sides and bring those shoulders up toward your ears and relax them down. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, cardio. Don't turn off watching. Here we go. If you want to increase the intensity, pick up the peak speed of your cardio burst. <laughs> and try not to jump on the roof. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Next we're doing the upright rows. Okay, with so you can do this with one or two dumbbells. They're going to face each other and you're going to lift your elbows toward the ceiling or toward your ears. So keep the weights together. Pull them up toward your chin. One, two, three, Four, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. Okay, next exercise. Do a little cardio, and then we're on the last set of exercises. We're going to be doing the triceps. Okay. Either seated or with a weight.
20 seconds. Oops. seconds okay so for your triceps you have two options you could do dips um, so if you're doing that sit at the edge of your bench or a chair fingers point toward your heels palms plant firmly make your body a nice straight line push down until your shoulders or elbows flex to a 90 degree angle then push all the way up Okay, if you want to use a weight, you're going to make a triangle with your hand, bring your hands together, hold that weight firmly. You can cup the weight if you need to. So, bring it up, over, and behind your head. Core pulls in tight, keeping those elbows straight up at the ceiling. Bring the weight down and then lift it straight up into the air. And you can see, my elbows are not moving much, so all the work is coming from my triceps. Three, four. You can also do this exercise from a seated position five, or laying down and dropping the weight over your head six, towards the ground. Seven. Melissa has a lot of control over her back, so eight, she's very good at this. Nine. All those core exercises pay off. 10, 11, last one, 12. Okay, last cardio burst. And I think that was the last exercise. Oh no, we still have curls. Okay. <laughs> Okay, curls. I'm going to sit down for this one. Okay, back stays nice and straight. Feet are more than hip distance apart. You can bend over um, so your elbow rests on your knee. And then curl up toward your shoulder. I might have to switch to a smaller weight. My shoulders are pretty tired. I bet. So, controlled movements. Good job. Same speed up and same speed down. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, eleven, twelve. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Rest that elbow on your knee. Back stays straight. Movement is controlled up and down. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and just uh, for good measure, I'm going to do two on this arm with the twenty because I did it on the other side, so I want to keep it even. Whew. Did I do one or two? We'll say two. Two. Oh yeah. Okay, so that was hard, but <laughs> that's it. Okay guys, so I am going to head outside and do a run. Um, and I'll post the breakdown of this workout on my blog, including the benefits, um, 
the types of runs you can do with it. You have plenty of options with this type of workout. So everything you need to know will be there, benderfitness.com. Plus there are over 350 other free workouts that I've done in my home to stay in shape. Okay, so I hope to see you there. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow with a new workout.